Hey folks, Damien Reaper here, live from Damnation Valley for DamienReaper.com. I'm here to tell you about character creation. And you're saying to yourself, is it too much of a thought to create a character for a haunted attraction, haunted house, or yard haunt? Yes, it is, young lady. I would like to uh, kind of explain why we do what we do and how does this how is this scary and why do I why does Damien Reaper do what he does and what is how does one create a character? I tell ya. I'll start you off you know, creating a basic character. You can, when somebody places you into a room, you can either, you're looking at the room, if you're a clown, if you're in the clown room, you're a clown. If you're a hillbilly, you're a hillbilly. Well, that's easy enough. But what type of uh, clown and hillbilly are you? You can be a ringmaster. You can be a basic clown. You can, for hillbillies, you can be, you know, a redneck. You know, guy with one tooth being funny. Or you can be really serious, like Otis from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Kind of hillbilly. It, depends you, you get to uh, you should be able to play with whatever in the room and base the character off of that now on the other side you know something that I um, I've made a universal character now I didn't know at the time really but you know back then I, I did I based it originally I based the character off the room, I was in a funeral parlor. But I also had the influences um, of my childhood to back because I, I wanted to be in a funeral parlor because I was a huge fan of The Undertaker, still am, from the World Wrestling Entertainment. I was also a huge fan of Kiss. So I kind of applied that into my look throughout the years. And Alice Cooper, I also put into the character. So it's those three things three influences uh, with creating this character and anybody says one thing is cliche and that's cliche and that's the whole thing is cliche it's horror you know every almost every horror movie has a creaking door has a scream out of nowhere has a pop scare has this type of scare it's all very um it's very cliche, you know, and I can say that about every genre of uh, media, everything is cliche. It's, there's a um, there's a method behind the madness type thing. There's points of um, it, it, it must be in the movie. You must add, but it's up to you to take that variation and do something. Your put your own little spin to it, and. Um, you know, universal character. I have adapted this character to every type of situation. I went from a funeral parlor director to a biker to a minister to a counselor to um, um, a clown to even a female, which we'll get to in a little bit. But that, it kind of tells you, you know. The characters evolved and evolved and evolved and evolved and keeps going, and you know, it, it's all within that same universe. Um, and uh, myself and other characters has been this universal character, or they just kept the same character and kind of modded him a little. Bit like upgraded the character's look and all that and it's all fine it, you know there's characters 
uh, you know, a clown character can only evolve so much. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you stay true to the things you believe. If that character fits for you and works for you, don't. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Keep going as long as you you want to. You make your own rules. Don't let someone else do it for you. You know, it's going kind of off topic, but backstory. Backstory is a huge thing with creating a character. In your life, there's points of your life that make you who you are. Same thing with a character. A character, you know, has their own life that makes them who they are. So, and, and you can have that a uh, short paragraph that has the pivot, pivotal moments, or you can make a novel of, out of it. My my backstory is basically a novel because I've added different things and added different stories, and it all you know fits within a theme, my own theme, but I also took in fact the haunted houses and the rooms of different haunts that I've been in and kind of adapted that to my character and kept my character fresh and new and it was you know it's been a blast let's put it that way but you can do that too um, with a backstory you know Dracula has a backstory Freddy has a backstory um, a you know, boy if it falls down a well gets pushed by his uh, for years and years he's missing uh, she wakes up one night turns around and there he is a zombie staring straight at, straight at her with a knife and he doesn't cut her he just slits his own throat and she, he allows her to watch in a horror the things that he'll do to himself and she keep and he keeps haunting her year after year decade after decade mental institution until one day she goes old and she dies backstory now um after that will be clothing thrift stores are a haunter's best friend it's best to when you're creating a character, uh, mostly on time periods, uh, to make it as authentic as possible. Now, costume stores, they do have nice stuff, but it's cheap. It's real cheap. I had a little creak in my neck. Anyway. It's you know it, going to a costume store they do have some things that are, are nice but they are cheap um, so when you go to get a costume keep that in mind but I really say thrift stores are a huge um, bonus because cheap a whole suit you know, jacket, pants, tie for $12 God knows where it's been, but as long as you wash it, you'll be fine. You know, it's just clothes, so don't be afraid of that. Um, you can get th things online. Sometimes they're expensive, sometimes they're not. Um, so it just depends on what feels right to your character, what fits right in the haunted attraction, and what's comfortable to you layers I mean hell um all of my uh costumes look heavy but they're not as heavy as what you would think they would be um you know it, it's just um when I've heard you know girls complain it's too cold it's too cold to wear a different layer and keep it within your theme Hmm. Same thing with the guy. Oh, it's too hot. Too hot. 
make sure your costume is adapt adaptable to go back and forth. You know, September, it can get pretty warm. November, it can get damn cold. I remember last year, I mean, throughout the whole year, the whole season, the whole crew at mall was sick. And, um, you know, it's just something something to keep in mind when you're creating a character. Um, with hair, I'm playing around with my hair right now. It's, um, you know, make sure that it fits with your your look, your character. All of this counts, I'm telling you, to creating a great character. Um, so, you can tease your hair, you can let it, you know, drape in front of you. If you, now, it has to make sense within the room that you're in, though. Uh, you know, a pers person with a mohawk doesn't really fit with 1920s world. It just doesn't. It's like piercings. Or this topic, shoes. People know it's your shoes. Do not wear Nikes. That drives me up a wall. He has a great presence, great acting, great everything. Nike shoes. Air Jordans. It's like, you almost made it believable. And it really takes things away from it. You know, what makes something believable is the way you look, the way you present yourself. It's all of that stuff. You know, it's not just go dress up and go boo. You must believe it. And those people, their customers, paying customers, must believe in what you're doing. So, remember that. Um... Remember to stay in character. And remember that, you know, like I said, you have to believe it. Uh, it and psychology is a huge thing. Acting psychology. You know, you're in a room, and if you want to play somebody that's crazy, go crazy. Go crazy. Go insane. I mean, go nuts. But it has of course it has to fit with the room now it's many people don't understand that fact it has to fit with the theme of the room theme of the haunt but you have to go full tilt into it it's nothing not subtle just yelling and screaming there has to be a point to the yelling and screaming and that goes with backstory and the way you look all of that has to fit like a glove so just things to think about when you're creating your character. Remember that there's no rules to it. You just have to fit within the, the themes of your haunt. If you're lucky as I am, that gets to tour different places. You can play a little bit more. But just remember, you know, it has to fit. Um, promoting. Promoting your character. If you want to take your character up to another level you know and show off your work basically too you know everybody always complains about my videos with the same pictures in there and all that stuff but they're watching because I, I can see their views just remember when you are promoting uh, your character um, you have to um, make sure you mention the haunts that you worked for and the haunt, you know, link them that way it can promote you, promote the haunt, and it can be like a circle of uh, getting, especially you charity haunts, your charity haunts can really benefit from your actors, you know, having your website and promoting using their characters and using you know 
and you can do videos. I have many videos on YouTube. Um, Facebook, same thing. Tumblr, Twitter. You can use all those things to your advantage and really promote yourself. And it helps promote the haunt, promote yourself. And, you know, everything that I've done, you know, I'm very happy with. And then this laptop that keeps uh, going out and taking away my light. So, just remember when you are promoting, the biggest thing that I have to say is don't ban a mouth a haunt. I mean, it's outside of what this uh, thing is about. But don't, you know, ban mouth the haunt, a different haunt, because you're prideful of the haunt that you work for. Let me tell you something. Everybody's doing the same job. They might have different values of money and props, and but an actor, you know, be professional. Be there's no reason to talk bad about another person in life. No, you know, if somebody's talking bad about you. You had to confront them, and you know all that type of stuff. So remember that um, when you're promoting something. You know, to just be a class act is what I'm saying. It, it helps our business, and it can it takes this business, and you can grow off of it. But one of the you know, just end of the day, have fun, have fun, have fun, have fun. And I think I've talked long enough. I'm not sure how many minutes that is, <laughs> but just enjoy it, you know, like I said, to go run down, choose a character based on your room, or create a universal character that can bounce in different rooms. Um, the name, keep it simple. Um, how you dress make sure it's comfortable make sure it, you know it can take on summer fall and winter um, choose a voice that can uh, stand uh, four or five hours at a time um, promote yourself and when you are promoting yourself and on social media, act like a class act. Um, and be creative. There's a whole world of creativity. And I guess it can help you with creativity and choosing an idea. They place you in an interior room. Uh, look at you know TV movies everything anything that's based on the that type of room because every room is cliche remember that yeah, I'm sure a bedroom has been used in a horror movie there's nothing that hasn't been in a horror movie they made a tornado with sharks in it there's some type of movie that's out there that they can fit with your room. Use that in kind of a basis. If you're a traveling actor, anything's your realm. Okay. You just have to uh, get an idea. Okay. I want to be a lizard person. Okay. What type, you know? research um, different lizard humanoid characters if you want to be a zombie you can uh, watch zombie films vampire werewolf I mean it's endless for a traveling actor such as myself and other people that do travel but again you must make a character that's versatile or characters that can be versatile to any other haunt, so put that in the back of your head. I think I've rambled on enough. 
and my laptop's about to die once again. So hopefully this helps you and I can tell you one thing. One thing. Haunted houses and haunted attractions are the best thing best way to be creative. You know, I've had bands and all that. It helped me be creative. But this really helped me. This helped me break, break out of my show when I was 15 years old. Um, this has got me through hard, hard times. And, you know, I can, I can safely say that this has saved my life from... Uh, getting in with the wrong people because I've would like dungeons I would just keep when uh, my other friends were on dope uh, going on crack or meth or whatever uh, and people you know from my school doing their thing I stuck to this and you know at the end of the day you know I'm still around I'm still you know just pleasantly uh, you know blessed to have the life that I do because even though how bad you know life can be sometimes sometimes you just need to value life itself and haunting has given me a uh, vehicle to um, be myself this is who I am Damien Raper is who I am that's why I chose the name in my personal Facebook YouTube all those stuff accounts I choose Damien Reaper never, never my real name because it doesn't matter what my real name is. When I when I go to sleep and I dream, I've never called myself by my real name uh, for a very long time. I'm Damien Reaper inside this chest. Inside my heart is Damien Reaper. Now, am I out there killing anybody? Or no. no. But it's the passion. The, you, you use the things that you're passionate about and you can put it towards your character. I did it and it, everything has, you know, I've never heard one bad thing said about my character. Uh, said by a professional reviewer or a professional uh, owner. It, you know, some actors might get their real. Their, you know, feathers ruffle about certain situations, but uh, that you do, and I've had that. But you know, you just have to look the other way and stay true to the things you believe in. And you know, like I said, have fun. You know, I, the reason why I'm doing this, you know, other than you know, we have new people in the traveling group that I'm in that I'm going to help. Um, Hopefully this video helps them to know you know how blessed of haunt of a haunter uh, what a haunter is and how privileged you should be to be one. Uh, you know, first years to you know anything. Um, I love this business. That what type of other. Um, medium you can't go to McDonald's and work there and at the end of the day go wow that one customer he just blew my mind and it was just so much fun every single day this is that type of job this is a career and you might not get the money for it you might get something for it hopefully in one day you know, but I don't personally. And at, at, at the end of my uh, journey, it doesn't matter if if you know if I get a million dollars doing this stuff. I've heard so many times I should go to Hollywood. If they're willing to drive me there, it's all good. But I have, uh, uh, you know, I realize. It's not that simple. And realize that my physical appearance isn't what Hollywood is looking for. But 
as a hunt actor, I get to make my own choices. I'm happy where I'm at. The power of darkness. So, be blessed. Enjoy your haunting. And you will rest in damnation.